All right, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna be working on my dad's TRX 450R. Gonna be installing a big bore kit, a little higher compression ratio, bump it up for 79 cc's from 450. The Gorilla Piston, bigger bore cylinder from our boys. Easy quad parts. So, it's from riding at the dunes. The bike is fast for what it is, but just can't keep up with the bikes anymore. So, that'd be a fun little project. Make it a little faster. Keep up with this bike. See, we're a fan of the, the Hondas. Got the other 450, so should be fun. Right now, the quads already got HRC cam, a little higher compression piston, ported cylinder. So, oh, and you know, FCR carb from Jet Labs dialed in, runs like it's fuel injected. Just got to give it a little more power to keep up with the new school bikes, but yeah, we'll just get right into it. Take me took me way too long to get that tank off. It's the first time ever working on this quad or anything, but now that we're open, we can see some of the stuff that's been done to it. So first, retrofitted the FCR carb. Saw carbs on here are pretty much junk. That's why they switched over to the FCR. I mean, see all the bikes and everything have them. It's a great carb once it's tuned. Um, you can see Jet Labs. They dial the carb in based on, you know, the specs of the motor and everything. And it's, I mean, it's pretty dialed in. Got a pretty massive air filter in there. Still got the box and everything just because we ride pretty much everywhere. Even though this thing will probably be mostly a Dune Queen now, but we do have a battery just so we can run light bar and lights. If the, uh, Quad ever kills out at night, just so it's a little safer if you still have lights, even when it's off. We're almost there, get started on the motor and everything. Um, yeah, let's go.
This is the progress so far. Everything torn down. Rod still looks pretty much brand new. Got the new gasket on, we're getting it ready to go. Cylinder head cleaned up a little bit. In here, you can see the port. That was done about 10 years ago and was rebuilt the first time. I don't think the exhaust is ported or anything, but this was the stock cylinder since we had the bike brand new. No five. Still has all the cross hatching. Still looks absolutely brand new. The bike has at least over 500 hours. It's pretty amazing how well it's worn. And then this was the Pro X piston when it was rebuilt about 10 years ago. It was coated, it didn't have this coating from the factory. It's held up pretty good. No real wear on the wrist pin. Everything looks still pretty good. I think this piston was a little higher than stock. We couldn't really find out. I think it was either 11 half to 1 or 12 to 1. And the HRC cam, which was put in the same time this one. Or it was rebuilt the first time. And the only time it has been. It still looks brand new pretty crazy i got the new stuff ready to go got the rings on the piston it's carillo piston 13 to 1. so this is just the crf bo uh, bore 97 millimeter bore so bump it up to 479 so to get going here rejet the carb and hopefully get started up tomorrow all right guys it's the next day. Last night, got the piston and cylinder all in there. So now I just gotta slap everything back together. Get that car bowed in, it should be good to go. But let's get into it. Him and the valves did some quick math well i didn't really do it let the internet do it for me but right side intake was actually good left intake everything else was a little tight besides the right intake so that's the clearance we need and these are the new shims we got so hopefully should be all good First startup. Just 
Das Fricks ist auch. heat cycle. Carb's pretty dialed in at idle, still needs a little tuning, but just to show you how dialed it is. in it is. No choke. Gas is on. Ugh. It's hard to do while filming. Barely even kicked it. <laughs> 